Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday, the 27th of February 2024. So crypto rips, uh, mag 7 dips as super short squeeze sends small caps uh, soaring as net inflows to the uh, Bitcoin ETF reaccelerated and GBTC outflows slowed to a trickle. US stocks were mostly subdued amid light catalyst ahead of month end risk events. Uh, those risk events are going to be uh, apparently a lot of Fed data. So we've got USD uh, weakened ahead of a plethora of Fed speak and economic data, while city and credit uh, agricole month end uh, rebalancing models point to dollar selling. Yes, the dollar may have sold off, but so did silver, which uh, usually would be the opposite uh, direction. But uh, no surprise, as I mentioned, uh, this would be the case yesterday. Economic news for today, durable goods from the US. There's not a lot out this week, as I mentioned yesterday. We've got uh, S&P composite uh, year on year and consumer confidence as well. And that's uh, all you're going to get today. So the market, again, is free to move to the upside. Let's move on, have a look at yesterday, see if there's any more all-time highs. That seems to be the case at the moment. Uh, each day, the markets, the Dow or the DEX, seem to be making new all-time highs. Let's kick off and have a look at the Dow. So in the Dow yesterday, no new all-time high. The market did trade up, but not to uh, Friday's high and uh, sideways to lower overnight. Maybe there's a bit of profit taking coming in here. Yesterday, the market uh, did manage to shoot to the upside, but failed to get back to Friday's high, which you'll see is just above there with the market then reversing and moving back to the downside. Markets come off the low twice on the overnight. So again, showing some support there at the moment needs to get back above the 20 bar MA, 50 EMA, and the DP in order to show any sort of strength moving back to the upside there. And in the DAX, well, we've got another new all-time high. Let me just uh, put this one in and remove the remove the former one, which uh, you'll see there, 17,461. That's where we are now, uh, heading up to the 17,500 level. Market below the 5MA on the overnights, but no great concern there. Uh, yesterday you can see the market moving to the upside creating that new all-time high in the afternoon when the Dow moved to the upside you can see it was taken out that's Friday's high uh, in fact they did it twice uh, yesterday as uh, the market then uh, put in that final one as uh, we've just seen in the daily there at 17,461 meanwhile overnight so uh, the market is below the DP the 20 MA the 50 EMA and uh, making a bit of a pullback there, but it hasn't taken out yesterday's low at the time of recording. May come back and retest that at the cash open. S&P 500, new all-time high again yesterday. No stop in these markets at the moment, is there? And wait till we get uh, back to the CPI and the non-farm payrolls in a couple of weeks. Market uh, trading up to uh, five double one. A one or five triple one market uh, very strong as you can see by the averages as well and the gap in between these markets starting to accelerate to the upside there uh, yesterday market up but overnight uh, the market retesting yesterday's uh, low there which uh, you can see it's uh, sat on this a few times if it uh, continues to break this then we can expect uh, a bit more on the downside down to the s1 or the s2 but the key here will be the 200 MA along with the S2 if there is further weakness. In the FT100, the market is sideways. Not a lot to report there. It's not an inside bar, but it traded between the high and low of Friday, which uh, you can see there's the high of Friday and trading be between these levels. Market down to uh, the low and doing its best to actually try and get back. But then again, there's no surprise there. The market always attempt to get back above the low let's have a look at the dollar so us dollar trending down which we can see there but it's had no impact whatsoever on the price of silver apart from uh, moving it lower so it's actually moving with it at the moment so let's have a look at the metals so as i said yesterday the market uh, for for silver lower expect again the 89 to be tested down to 22 dollars it won't take long to get there 
You can see yesterday morning how they slammed the price down, even on the London fix. Following this, the market lower overnight, the market's trying to move up, but it won't move far before they slam it again. Meanwhile, gold has held really well, and of course, this is impacted on the gold silver ratio, which we'll look at in just a second. But uh, yeah, you can see the market uh, moving quite strongly to the upside uh, despite uh, the LBMA fix the market then moving back and heading towards yesterday's high as I actually record this. So in the gold silver ratio as I said a few weeks ago don't worry about 92 we'll be heading back to that level and we're already back to 90 we'll get through this and head up towards 100 if we have any sort of black swan events because that's how it works they always hammer the price of silver given the opportunity with any sort of uh, financial catastrophe uh, there's got to be one down the, the line somewhere except for it's uh, an election year but we'll just have to wait and see because normally election years they keep the stock market pumping to the upside as it attracts uh, voters who've made a few quid on their investments and say well don't uh, don't jump out of the frying pan let's stick with what we've got we've done all right so let's have a look at uh, the markets for yesterday and uh, have a look at the two minute chart. So in the pre-market session, you can see uh, the market moving to the upside. We then uh, move sharply to the downside when the market opens. No surprise there, but the, the cash sales were soon dealt with as the market reversed and then prices started to move back up towards the uh, high of Friday, failing to do so. Just a scalp there. Market then reversing and that was the last trade of the session. The market then became sideways to higher through the mid-morning bit uh, and trading up towards Friday's high. But the all-time high wasn't made until the afternoon. We had the, the two, as I mentioned before, and you can see them bringing the market back in a minute towards uh, the high of Friday. This is before the Dow opened. And then you can see there that's the, the first all-time high that was made in the intraday session and then uh, the market being brought back and then the cash Dow opening and again sitting on the high and then a quick zip through to make uh, the final all time high which is what uh, we've seen in the uh, analysis of the DAX earlier on. So in the afternoon the market becoming just sideways after making the new high sitting on the R1 and then just uh, drifting a bit lower and then stuck in a range. Let's have a look at the overnight, see what prices are doing. So at the moment we've got a bit of weakness around. This is the all time high up here at 17,461. Uh, market say sideways, it's come back below the 200 MA and it's below the close and the DP. Watch the low, likely to be uh, tested and could go through to the BRN as well uh, when the market opens this morning. Okay, that will do it for this one. No economic news to, to shout or scream about. Market will make its own direction today. We've got the all-time highs in place. The markets are due for a breather and there's a bit of uh, weakness around there at the moment. Okay, that's it uh, for this one. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next.